All right, well, we're back. This foo has a Legiana. Already jealous. That is one of my other best boys. I need to get me one of those. But, uh, so we're supposed to be setting out to go fight a Paolomu. And if you haven't played Monster Hunter World and don't know what that is, uh, you're in for a treat. Because, man, those things are beautiful. Actually, I am going to fight these things because we could do a little bit of farming. Look, we're already friends. We're already celebrating when we beat up the hippos together. No, we're fighting the bear. Aim for the feet. Let's go. Nice. Critical hit. Nice. Hell yeah, it was. The two lofty trees. I'm ready. I'm ready for the fluffy, puffy, doofy, boofy. <laughs> wow, it's actually really pretty in this forest. Wowzers. Yeah, me too, Nabiru. The bugs are gross. This area has remained unchanged since ancient times. Because and we're elf people. Live here, and we love along nature. With some rare species of insects. That said, a lot of them have been disappearing lately. So you think strange things are happening around here too? Didn't you but say no. everything was happening like strange things were happening everywhere? There was much Why are you surprised? Life around here in Red's time though. So that means you knew my buddy's grandpa too then, huh? Everybody did. Everybody talks about him like he was a celebrity. What was he really like? It's hard to put into words. I knew him almost his entire life. He I was so a many god. Memories of him. Our village has long since been inhabited solely by Wyverians. Not everyone was happy about him being allowed to come and go as he pleased. However, he never let any of that bother him. He and Guardian Ratha just kept showing up again and again. Mm -hmm. He was always so open and friendly. He was freedom incarnate, a perfect match for the King of the Skies. An incredible man. Guess that runs in the family, huh, buddy? <laughs> Hold on. If yeah, I don't feel like I seem like that because I don't kid, talk. How come you still look so young? The way that Wyverians and humans age is a little different. The way they age? Yes. Dragon people. We live longer and age slower than humans. Wow, how about that? That makes me wonder, how old do you think Anna is? She could be as old as an elder dragon. When Red first arrived hmm. here, everyone said it was impossible for humans and Wyverians to be friends. It's a little impossible. Because and you guys are going to watch us all die. Time together. Humans mature in what feels like the blink of an eye for us. Were you afraid humans wouldn't want to be pals with you anymore once they grew up? No, it's yes. just you liter but literally watch people die. Like at a rapid no rate, you know? Anymore. I still consider him one of my closest friends. Therefore, I'd never be able to forgive myself if I let you get hurt on my watch. So that's why you insisted on coming with us. Oh, you're a big softy. Do you hear that? That haircut isn't There's fooling anybody. Nearby. Yeah, it's Paolo. My whiskers didn't pick up any signals. You got better senses than me, huh? I'm impressed, Alwyn. Hmm. This is nothing. It's completely normal for us. Back in his day, Red trained his senses to an even higher level. What? The best I can do is pick up on distant sounds. That's a cat. But he could actually <laughs> hear the voices of monsters. Okay. That, the voices of You guys monsters? are losing me. Come on. This way. All right. The scout flies are picking it up. Picking it up. Oh, hey. Catavan. What are you... Oh, scout flies are leading to the tree. Okay. Well, I got herbs to pick up, my guy. Look at all these plants I'm getting. Oh, yeah. Look at all these plants. 
You know, I do I do kind of want some some den eggs. So let's go get an egg. An egg goo. Yeah, give me something good. Big purple. Oh, but it's glowing. Ooh, kind of stinky, don't you thinky? It's light as a feather, too. No, one more. What is this? Doesn't really smell like much, and it's 100% normal weight, too. Oh, no, the eggs are all gone. No, I missed out on all the shiny ones. You jackass. Okay. Well, now what? Wait. This bear came out of nowhere. Power slash. Ooh, all crits. Yeah. Another crit. Wait. Is that is that what that um is that what Oopal Snort's ability does? That's kinda hype. Or maybe it was because it was knocked over. I really don't pay attention to tutorial tips very well, so if I'm missing that, I might just be stupid. Pookie Pookie, we're just going in. We're going in for the kill. Doing it for the thrill. Song of protection. It does poison? Or is it getting poisoned? Nice. And he's dead. Got him. Uh, I'm gonna just cheer you guys on then, I guess. Let's go. Beat up this blue neon cookie. Nice. Air showdown. Ooh. That's fancy. This hasn't happened yet. Ooh. Smoked him. Smoked him. No, why? Ah! No! You pieces of shit! All criticals. See that? Ineffective ice attack. Boom! That was effective. Well done. Sick. Oh my gosh, that's a rare den. We're going for it. I'm never going to make it to this Palomu. Holy shit, that's a Palomu. We'll be back for you. Nope. Oh, this is a good one. It's so pretty. Look at this egg. It's all white and shit. I know it's a Palomu, but come on. It's a good Palomu. Oh, I got a feeling. All right, we in the Palomu den. It's a very wide open area. Now, nah, Palomu's probably gonna use technical, but I wanna use Pookie Pookie. My lead monster will be my XP, XP getter. Ah, you piece of shit! Holy crap. You've improved. Yeah, get poisoned. Or my guys are gonna beat you. Boom, headshot. Oh, but there's a path to <gasps> the egg den. You're gonna stop me and tell me that there's no monsters. Um, never mind. There is a monster. Okay, well I guess I could have went that other way, but uh. <laughs> I love Paolo. Look at it. It's just a big fluffy bat with goofy teeth. Look at his teeth. Looks like one of those Play-Doh things. You put the, you guys ever have one of those as a kid? Anyways, let's fight this Palomu. Um, this thing looks like it's gonna do technical attacks. So I'm gonna do a focus slash. Yep, I was right. Lucky guess. No. I feel like it's definitely a tech, it's easy to figure out that it's a technical fighter, right? Like it has like wind, puppy attack, like it has unique. Abilities, it's not just like boom, bang, boom. 
How do you do those, like, team moves? I, I still don't understand how you get the doubles. Like, the X, like, the Y. You know, I can't explain anything right now. How do you do those? Oh, critical hits. Hit him with the poison. Boom! Pop that balloon. So it's probably piercing them is what it wants me to do. So let's do the Kulia arrow. Boom! Now brace yourself. It's grounded. Burr, 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 burr. Oh, he got kinship already? Oh, can we do a double kinship? I want to do a double kinship. Look at this. It's morphin' time! Ha! Ah! Okay, this is pretty cool, not gonna lie. Look at us go! Combo move. Get wrecked. Critical hit. You think you can win this, Paolo Mu? Just because you're adorable? Well, I'm a pookie pookie. I'm also adorable, because it's a pookie pookie. Boom. Oh, look at you guys go. See? How do they do that? That's the thing that I'm talking about. Boom. Still did more. Nice. Nice. Well done. Well done. Rest. You did it, buddy! Now we're another step closer to the right of channeling. I mean, wouldn't have been able to do it without you guys. Without you, Alwyn. Except you, you, you. you didn't really do anything. Teacher. You might even be better at it than me. And I'm navigating Naviru. Me? A teacher? You've got to be kidding. If you really want to become a better rider, you can you learn didn't, more He didn't teach me anything. Could ever teach what do you... you? At least Kana was like, get, like she was the one doing the tutorial to tooltips. We are. They're in tune with the world around them. Understanding what a monster is trying to tell you is one of the most important skills you can develop. This is monster for well, like this is monster hunter for hippies. Well, certainly easier said than done. First, you must learn how to listen. Now, now I'm Bro, look at both of your ears. You telling me neither of you know how to listen? Just keep improving little by little. I got the smallest ears here. Come, we need to report to the elder. Now you're talking. Let's ride, buddy. Nah. Doesn't really smell like much, but it's got 100%. Oh, I swear, I swear, Navi Ru, you're really something else sometimes. Hey, we did it! We got a wyvern egg. Report to Elder Maolo. Thank goodness for the catavan. Oh, I have quests I can turn in. Might as well do that real quick. Actually, I'm gonna wait to do that before I get my new monsters. Okay, let's hatch this green one first, because I'm curious what's in it. Boom. It's a blue Yeon Cuckoo. That's way cooler. All right. And then next up is this green egg. A Corpeco. A little disappointed, but um, naming you. All right, Shoehorn. Okay, I'm going to open the non-sparkly one first. They were both 100% weight, though. Oh my goodness. That is a baby Paolomu. I am literally about to explode. Holy crap. It didn't even occur to me that I was going to see a baby one of these. It's literally just a big pink and white mouse bat. I love it. This one's also going to be a Paolomu, but it's sparkly. Yeah, bonus stats. All right. All right, what are we naming this one? This one's Paluka. And there we go. Hmm, I see you are back. It was just like you said. I don't know why, but that Paolumu was going nuts. I mean, it seemed but like a normal Paolumu to me. sure it won't be causing any more trouble. Well done. However, you still lack experience. 
Okay. You must work a lot harder if you plan to protect this egg. Well, it's gonna turn into a Rathalos and then protect me. You got any other pro We'll solve them all. No big deal. Bring it on. Okay. Right, buddy? Uh. Some of our villagers I would, have been reporting an increase in monster attacks on the Harzgai Rocky Hill. I wish I could just every time my character nods, make it so that he does like the, the peanut butter boulders. baby. Uh. Ah. A monster that looks like a rock? Oh, I know which one this is. We're going to fight a Basarios. I feel like I've seen one of those before. I know I have. So far, we've been unable to identify the creature. It's Basarios. We'll find out what it is. I, I have a very like strong feeling that it's a Basarios. Well. Of course. Go ahead. Well, yeah, aren't you my buddy now? You're my you're my teacher, air quotes. You know, but you don't teach much. An invisible enemy. It's a rock. I don't really care about Basarios. So I'm definitely gonna go power level. Power level this. All right. Well, that's gonna end it for this one. Um, I feel like we actually accomplished a lot. I mean, we set out to go basically fight a Paolomu, but then ended up fighting everything in the forest unintentionally, which honestly isn't the end of the world. I mean, we gained so much XP from that. Like, I, did, I genuinely think that that was worth it. And uh, next up, we're gonna go fight a uh, Basarios, so. Like, definitely a Basarios. There's only a few other things that I think it could be. Almost sure it's Basarios. I'll catch you guys in the next one. If you're not subscribed, please be sure to subscribe to the channel if you want to see more of this, or if you just want to see more content like this. I love doing these Let's Plays, and I love trying to entertain people. And if that's not why you're watching the video and you're just watching it to see how Monster Hunter Stories 2 is, this game's amazing. I'm having so much fun. I can't wait to keep making videos for you guys. So, peace out, everybody. I hope you have a great one.